What's going on YouTube and welcome to episode 2 of YGO Pro Duels Tuesday. I am your host, Sinjin Omega. Now, I'm starting off a little bit differently this time as you can see. I'm not starting off with the deck preview and everything. As I'm actually just going to jump into the duels themselves. Explain the combos as we play them. At the end of the video, I will explain the deck, my, some of my tech choices and things like that. So, let's get started with today's episode. And I'll meet you in the first duel. Alright, we got our first duel here against the number two. Just number two. Now, if y'all remember from last week, I have actually changed my rock, paper, and scissors to Pokemon to kind of fit the, te the theme of how the channel itself goes. Looks like we're going second in this. Got two terraforming because, as y'all know, we are doing... Ancient Gears, but we got two terraforming, so it's, that searches out Gear Town. Our Wyvern here basically gives us any Ancient Gear card that we need. Power Bond is basically for fusion, and Magnetic Force helps out for monster effects. So what we're just going to do is we're going to activate our Gear Town right now. Uh, set Magnetic Force because once we actually activate Wyvern's effect, we're not allowed to set any other cards this turn. Now another combo that I like to run, I'll run one little gearbox in this. Because gearbox, basically, it lets us net another card. Gadget. So that's a little spy, like a little tech you can do. I mean, you can run more than one if you want to. The choice is up to you and everything like that, which like I said, I'll explain at the end of the video about everything. So that looks like our play for this turn. Now ultimately what we want to try to get is at least four ancient gears so we can make the chaos uh, giant right here. Because he just requires any four ancient gear monsters. So if we're able to get at least one more ancient gear we can make this guy. We have still no idea what this guy is playing. He's playing a 46 card deck. He's playing UAs. Uh, let's not activate that right now. He's got six in his extra deck. Normally, um, I don't really know what you really, you just run a bunch of fives and sixes, really. I would guess you would run. UAs, if y'all don't know, basically what it does is you summon, they come back. Wow, actually we will go ahead and activate our magnetic force because it will protect us from being flipped down by the vassal. That's actually... That's a spicy little tech to run in uh, UAs. I never would have thought about that. Because that gives you a tribute for, yep, slugger and things like that. Nice. Now he gets to add another air UA to his hand. Slugger is basically does the same thing as ancient gears when it comes to attacking and whatnot so but they can't activate effects period dunker if the fact attack defense it just does piercing damage and he can pop a card when he so maybe he won't he might not know what hopefully knows what's going on with this whole gear talent he'll decide to pop it and he did so he is going to actually give me a monster so let's go ahead and bring out let's go ahead and bring out another wyvern because that way we'll get that wyvern's effect and let's add hunting hound so the next turn what we can do we can literally just fuse into our uh, chaos giant and literally just plow right through him which actually let me see here it's 45 so they'll put it at 9,000 so this is what we're going to do we're going to normal summon hunting gown so what it does is when it's summoned he takes 600 and we'll just activate power bond for chaos giant basically he can't He's unaffected by spell and traps, and he basically can't do anything. So, we'll just literally attack him for game. <laughs> Alright, the first duel will be a win. 
And what I'm actually going to start doing is saving replays and stuff so I can go back to them, which y'all might not need to know that. But I'll see y'all in the next duel. All right, we got our second duel here. We're going against DDD Dave. And I wonder if that's one of the guys from... Uh, there's a group that has a guy named DDD Dave in it. I can't think of the name off the top of my head for some reason. I want to say it's like, is it like the card guys or Team Samurai X? Uh, comment down below if you know who I'm talking about. Let me know. I don't remember, but I know he plays DDDs. Now he gets to choose who goes first. And it's going to be him. Now, as you, we actually got a pretty good starting hand here with our Gear Town. And he is playing DDDs. I should have guessed it. But we got a pretty good hand start off. We got Gear Town. I'm running double Cyclone over Twin Twisters, which if I'm able to get, pull this off, you'll see why. Which is pretty self-explanatory. Probably would pop a Gear Town, pop a back row, we get an Ancient Gear. <laughs> also, we got a Gold Gadget here as well to kind of help with special summons and stuff like that in rank 4 plays. Because I got another little spicy combo in here as well that... Can really it can at least net me maybe two monsters upon doing something not really much to say he's going to yep add the anything he needs probably going to ditch the swirl slime with the necro slime to summon a fusion Pretty self-explanatory here, man. <laughs> oh, he's going to do Ragnarok. Okay. And that's all he got. That's all he has. All right. Well, what we'll do is just activate Gear Town. Hopefully he doesn't have anything in response for that. He's got Max C. We're not going to do that. Alright. That's fine. We're just going to activate double cyclone. Pop that. And pop that. Yes, we would. He will get a card, but that's fine. What I want to summon, though... Let's see here. He's got 0 and 2,000. I don't remember what this does. Target DDD. If you only... What's... Power. And target okay, it just gives him back a dark contract. So what I actually want to do, I'm just going to summon my reactor dragon for now. And since I haven't normal summoned this turn, I'm going to go ahead and summon gold gadget. We'll activate the effect, special summon. And we are actually going to say yes to this as well. And I don't want him doing monster effects. Um, and then what I'm actually going to do as well, let's get, I actually want to take that. And we'll just tack over the, the Calvin, Calper. We'll use Reactor's Effect to pop that and tag him directly for 21. And we'll end our turn right there. Ideally, what you want to do is, is use your Reactor Dragon to pop your Gear Towns a lot of times when you attack so you can get another Reactor Dragon or Ancient Gear on board. That way you can further your combos and stuff like that and deal more damage and whatnot. Because these, this effect right here does, is not once per turn for the popping. Was he special summoning? Okay, he's probably going for a rank 8. Yep. And he's got the Kelper. The Kelper will give him what? 
that they won't out of it. He's actually going to fuse. Okay. What's he getting rid of? He's popping my. Re he's banishing my reactor. Okay. I don't get him back though, do I? Nope. I don't get it back. Period. Okay. Magnetic force would have been actually good right there. Alright, we're not doing too good right now, guys. We need a good top deck. Basically, what this guy does is he uses a good cold wave and everything. So, he's going to fuse again. Into what? Oracle. Okay. Or dark. Yeah, Oracle. So that'll help him gain life points back. Okay. Not what I need right this moment, but I can do something with this. We'll activate that effect. Hopefully he has nothing against it. And he does. He can make him gain a thousand. Okay. Oh, never mind. I should still get the effect though, right? Yes, I do. I'm going to grab... So right now, he doesn't have enough... So, we'll go Gearbox. We'll use the effect of Gearbox. Tad Ancient. We'll just hope that he can't get enough on board to end me next turn. Which I don't... Yeah, that's not enough to end me, is it? No. He's going to gain 2,000. Yep, he's got me this round. But let's just go ahead and play it out. Let's mark this down as a loss. And what I'll do is I will see you guys in the third duel. And we're back for epi <laughs> episode duel three. I took a little uh, break in between those, that last duel, and looks like we're going second, and we got a, going against 60 card light swords, maybe? Law mooring light swords. Zoo law mooring light swords. Well, this is going to be something. I don't know a lot of what Zoo does. What do you add? What tell? Okay. I know they just like to stack upon stack upon stack upon stack. Might have misplayed right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to activate Gear Town. And let's just set my uh, gear gadget. Probably not the optimal thing I could have done right there, but if I'm able to do what I want to do, we can summon the Reactor Dragon next turn. 
off of this to get both the uh, effects of tributing an ancient gear and a gadget. Because as you know, if this card's tributed with an ancient gear, it gives you piercing. And if it's tributed with a gadget, it can make a second attack. So not only will we be able to inflict piercing damage, we'll get two attacks and two pops. Thus meaning we can actually summon another reactor dragon by popping our gear town and essentially getting three attacks off one card. And with this limited removal, we might actually be able to end him if he has nothing. Well, he actually can't activate anything when we attack anyways because ancient gears, you know, when you attack, you can't activate anything. So unless he pops this, we're looking pretty good for next turn. Well, he's getting over it, so that didn't work. And it gets piercing, and he's banishing it. Okay, then. Well, we're in for a tough bother. We need to top deck either our Twin Twister or the uh, Ancient Gear uh I can't think of the name off the top of my head for some reason. Not that. Uh, well. Should have made the other play, but. I guess what we'll do is we'll set two. And we'll just attack over one of these. Might have been not have been the wise choice to do, but even if he does the clearing attack against us, we do have the limited removal to counter him with, basically. So hopefully, actually no, I might won't no because okay, so it doesn't have to be destroyed in the sense of graveyard. We might actually want him to destroy it. Actually, no, it'll st we can still get the effect by with limiter. Okay. So if he attacks into this, we are going to limiter removal him. Getting rid of that, popping this, and then getting our another ancient gear gadget onto the field. Unless this is something, so what we, like I said, we are going to say yes. And he still gets the banish it. <sighs> I did not know that. We're back to square one now. We sh I mean, at least we got him playing on the defensive end. And we still have nothing we can use right now. Maybe he has nothing he can do also himself. So Viper was the one doing it. Oh, he's just going to put me for 400. Okay. Let's get another Viper. Okay. Oh, me.
don't really have much to say right now. I'm just letting him play off his turn and everything. Because I have nothing that I can actually use this with. Because I don't have any Ancient Gears in the graveyard. Nothing like that. So right now we're literally just sitting here until he's done with his turn. But right now he's got... Uh, can't use that. Yeah, I'm still alive. till next turn. Nope. I need a, I need a great top deck right now. Rageki. The thing that, what is this? Okay, then. So it's a pot of, or oh, a jar of avarice, basically, for zoos. Okay. No, stop asking me. I can't activate it right now. Yep, he's got me this round, guys. So I'll just surrender, go ahead and surrender, be done with it. And I'll see you guys in the fourth duel. And we're back, guys, for duel number four. We're going against Tesori. If I misspell, if I mispronounce your name, I'm sorry. All right, he gets us. So, are we going first or second? He, we're going second. This is a pretty decent hand to start off with. If we actually draw another Ancient Gear monster, we can actually bring out our uh, Chaos Giant first turn. He's got 40 cards with a 13 card extra deck. So, whoa, what? What is he playing? That's that's the thing. He's waiting, waiting, and he's he's not going to reveal to us. Okay. Well, we'll just activate our gear town and. And what I guess I'll do is I'll summon Hunting Hound, inflict the 600, use its effect. And yeah, let's just go ahead and summon the Devil <laughs> in defense mode for now. Activate that effect, inflict another 1,000 to him. And we'll just, we'll sit on that till we know exactly what he's playing. Because as you know, he's actually unaffected by all other card effects, which if you didn't see in the one, I think the first duel when I used the uh, Crooked Crook cook that's why he didn't get popped when i used his effect because he's unaffected by everything else but he also has the effect of if he's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard i special gear special summon ancient gear monster from my deck ignoring his summoning conditions which is good for getting in he's just he's is he playing pure kaijus oh he's playing is he playing invoked kaijus because that gives him all the attributes he needs. Plus. Uh, sir. Uh, that would make sense what he's playing actually. Which that's actually pretty decent. Is he going to make the. I can't really think of the name. But I know it's based off of. Uh, if y'all didn't know. The Invoked itself is actually based off of Final Fantasy. So, if he's using the Alistair and my water monster, he's making the one that's based off of Bahamut, actually. Bahamut and Leviathan, which is 3,900, That and he's making, nope, he's making the uh, one that's based off of just Golem. So, gets Alistair back, he's just going to attack over my Gamma Seal. Oh, use my Devil to make it, wow. Okay. Well, looks like we have a 3,000 Eidolon Beast to get over. Now, here's a good play. What we're going to do is we're actually just going to activate Regeki to get rid of this. Now, this right here, the Ancient Gear Catapult, what it does is it pops a card on our field, allowing us to actually special summon an Ancient Gear monster, ignoring it gets summoning conditions. And he's just going to negate that effect. Well, 
Well. <sighs> if he didn't have done, if he would not have done that, we would have won. We would have actually won. So. We'll just see what we draw next turn. That that's broken. Not really, but it is. Because essentially what we could have got out was the uh, mechanized melee. Because I run one of in the deck. As you can see, I've drawn it a couple times. And another, like, we could have got out uh, the, uh, yeah, here's the one I was talking about. The I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's basically Bahamut is what it's based off of. As I was saying, we could have got mechanized melee and one of my one of the uh, other ancient gears use melee's effect to actually attack him twice or three times even with by discarding these two. We could have just won the duel right there. Yeah, it just has the effect of when it can just attack and defense, and then, but it only applies as attack, so we didn't take as much. A, uh, you know what we'll, we'll do? We're just going to summon in another Hunting Hound. He's going to take the six. And I'm just going to summon another Devil off of that. Wait, what do I have in graveyard? Oh, the catapult. Do I want to do that, actually? Yes, I do, actually, because I can actually pop my gear town. I forgot about that. With some of the token in defense mode, we may actually be able to do something else, because, yeah, this is an ancient gear token. So, actually, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go wyvern, we're going to use Wyvern's effect. Does he have another Ghost Ash in hand? Please say you don't. Nope. He's got the strike. Okay, that's fine. Well, what I can actually do is just do this. Do you have another strike? Please say no. And we're just going to fuse the token and the hunting hound. Activate that. Hope he can't do anything to get rid of this except for get over it by battle. And we'll end our turn with that. Come on, sir. Do you have... Can you... Even if he attacks with this, he'll just basically bump. So, I'm not too worried about that. And if he didn't negate my wyvern, I was going to add gearbox to my hand and then add the uh, ancient gear gadget and fused into my uh, chaos giant with that. I hope you know that applies its attack, not his defense. So all you're do, going to do is bump me. I think he realizes that now. Okay. If anything, I can stall him out and burn him before, uh, before he can even get over it. Could have done that to actually beefed up his attack, just so you know.
All right. Are you fusing again? If he is, he's probably going to use my uh, howitzer to actually summon his golem. Which would probably be the smarter play for him to do, honestly. Or I can just hope for a timeout here and Callan has a win that way. <laughs> Alright, he's doing the fusion. Oh. Now basically, oh me. Please don't do what I think you're going to do. If he wanted to, he can actually banish this and actually banish everything on the field. Are you? He timed out. I don't care. That is technically a win because he took so long. I may have lost, but we never know. But what I'll do is I'll see y'all in the fifth and final duel. And we're back for the fifth and final duel. We're going against the 97%. He's not the 3%. He's the 97%. So we lost and we are going to go second it looks like. Now this deck normally just likes to actually go second. So, And we actually got, uh, we do not have a decent hand right now. So what I'm actually going to do is I, I'm going to activate Gear Town. Adam's going to summon my Silver Gadget. I'm going to use this effect to summon my Gold Gadget. Except for... Oh, I can summon any of it. So... No, I'm actually going to hold on to that. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to summon out Gear Gain X. Uh, detach our silver. And let's grab. Let's grab our Wyvern. Now we play the one overload fusion, as y'all can see. And that's because. The Chaos Giant is actually dark, so we can literally, we can actually banish our Ancient Gears out with uh, Overload Fusion and summon it that way. Still no idea why he's playing, but he is playing a, hey, he's playing Magicians, Dark Magicians. Okay. Okay, and, <laughs> well, he's making it so I can't banish stuff from the graveyard, but he says I need to. Nope, let him do his play. Now, personally, I try. I don't like cards like Pot of Desires and stuff like that and Solemn Strike. I tend to play more stuff of cards that I personally own or am readily able to afford as I am technically a budget player by choice because I don't really spend a lot of money up to build these big beefy decks a lot of times. Now, like IRL, I play stuff like maybe... I do have a Satellanite deck IRL and I do have DDDs. But that's only because it's easily to buy like three of the structure decks and things like that. Now, I'm not saying I don't have the expensive cards and everything because I have actually traded to get things like that. So I do have high end expensive cards. But we're actually just going to activate this limit removal back to this. That way we get over this Dark Magician. We put some pressure on him. And he is. That was a really good play, sir. I commend you for that. Now we can attack with Kaiku and 
that, but uh, at least we got our wyvern here. So, if anything, we can go gold into wyvern to get something else. And I may do the crooked cook play next this turn because this right here, we want to get rid of that. Or we can just do this play instead. And we'll get to... Are you serious? No. You know what? Fine. We'll do this then. That... I don't like that. Magician Navigate, you suck. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. That's fine. And what we'll do is we'll add box and then add ancient gear gadget. No, actually, no. Let's go with. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go with Fortress. Because what we'll do is... He's going to call XCs, isn't he? Yep. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and mark this down as a loss. Because I can't play through this. And no matter what I do, basically, he's got me next turn anyways. So this is a loss. And what I'll do is I'll see y'all on the end screen. Alright guys, we're here on the inch slate. Um, I actually uh, talked to that guy for a little bit. Uh, kind of let me know about my channel. But uh, as you can see, here's the deck. And what we played is we played three reactor dragons, one mechanized melee, one cohesion dragon, one hydra, three wyvern, two gold gadget, two silver gadget, three ancient gear gadgets, an ancient gear box, and three hunting hounds. Spells, an overload fusion, a regeki, a power bond, two gear capsules, an upstart goblin, three terraforming, limiter removal, double cyclones, double, <laughs> an eight, two ancient gear fortress, three gear towns, two magnetic forces, an ancient gear reborn, and for the extra deck, we are in two chaos giants, three hawitzers, I uh, can't pronounce that, but a phantom fortress. Basically, only if we got two of these on the field, it was summonable. A Dyson Sphere, a Hope Harbinger Dragon, an Aegean of the Sea, Castrum, and then some Rank 4s, just generic ones, kind of Karagargan, a Gear Gain X, a Search, the uh, Crooked Cook, a uh, Train Iron Wolf, Silent Honor Arc, and Castell. Now, as you can see, the main thing of this was actually a quick turbo build to actually get out ancient gears as quickly as possible to fuse them with howitzer overload fusion and power bond and it was just to spam as many ancient gears as possible now what i could probably run differently is is actually ran another capsule instead and probably maybe a couple solemns you know just some actual meta stuff and like maybe max c there's some things you can actually run to fully get this going and everything so, there's the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We went two and three, unfortunately. So, we went negative in our wins. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next week, I have not really decided what I want to get into. I'm actually between two different decks right now. So, I'm going to be playing around figuring that out. But until then, guys, good luck. Happy gaming. Sinjin out.